Hello, my name is Ray Poole. I'd like to share some basic techniques of playing the harp with you. Whether you play a pedal harp or a lever harp of any size, most of these techniques remain the same. There are many schools of harp playing. These are my opinions based on my experience. Here's a way of developing a good hand position that has worked well for my beginning students. Let's number our thumb and fingers as one, two, three, four. We don't play with the fifth finger, but it does work along with four. Fold your four fingers flat into the palm of your hand, then close your thumb over the second knuckle of your index finger. Let's begin by placing your thumb, number one, on the G above middle C. It should be pointing upwards along the string, not parallel to the floor, upwards. Place fingers two, three, and four about four inches down on the very same string. Yes, the thumb and three fingers are on the same string. The fifth finger is gently pointing out into the air below the fourth finger. Bring the palm of your hand closer to the strings by making just a slight crease in the outside of your wrist. This permits the thumb to place a bit higher on the strings and also benefits the angle of the fingers as well. Now hold on with the thumb and move all three fingers down to the E string like this. Touch F, then touch E. Hold on with fingers one and two as you move fingers three and four to the D string. Finally, hold on with one, two, and three as you move four down to C. Remember the fifth finger never plays. It is too short and too weak to be of any use but it should be extended when the other fingers are placed. It does whatever the fourth finger does. All four fingers should touch their strings at diagonals across the tips, not parallel to the floor, but at an angle. Again, place your fingers in this incremental fashion, one, two, three, four. They all go on G, then move three fingers to F, three fingers to E, two fingers to D, and finally the fourth finger to C. Practice moving about an inch away from the strings and then replacing all four fingers at once. Move away, place all at once. Your fingertips should touch simultaneously not one at a time. Not one at a time. But please, touch simultaneously. Four, three, two, one. This is the fundamental concept of a good hand position. The placement, no matter how many fingers, must occur in a single action. We'll discuss that in the next video on finger placement. Thanks for watching.